I decided to go with the red one for this one. Um, yes, yeah, so I got the new shirts in, new re-report t-shirts. Uh, be sure to contact me, hit me up if you're uh, interested in one. I'll leave the email and cash app and everything in the description below, and Instagram and things like that. Um, mm, mm, mm. Y'all know what we're here to talk about because you saw the title. Now, we all know that the Lakers have been done for a while. Some would say they were done when they made the trade. I personally did not think so. I thought this thing could work because I've always maintained, once I saw the type of player Russell Westbrook was, I always maintained that the one guy who could possibly help lift him to winning a championship would be LeBron Raymond James. And this thing has been a disaster. Like it's been all time bad, embarrassing, devastating. Just it's it's, it's cringy. It's the most. It, it, I I and I can't. I'm not even exaggerating. It's the most cringiest thing in sports I think I've ever seen. A team to come in with so much hype. And yes, myself, I am responsible for building some of that hype because I thought this team would be a dominant team, a team that was going to go all the way. Yeah. The Warriors are good. Yeah, the Suns are good. Dallas, Memphis, Denver, and all them. But when it comes down to it, no way they beating the Lakers in the seven-game series. I had that mindset, so I am not blameless in this matter. But I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. And I don't even want to go back that far, but just to look at this team and see that they are now in a position to where it's looking like, and and let me say this. I do not care if the Lakers make the playoffs because the Lakers are not championship contenders. I've never cared about the Lakers making the playoffs if they're not championship contenders. It's not their style. That's not their standard. That's not tradition. The Lakers getting to the playoffs only means they will have to go up against a team like Phoenix or um Golden State, bronze, silver, whatever. And or Memphis. But they're not getting that high to the sixth spot. But it, I, yeah, I, I didn't like this right here, this disaster. And, and I, so much going through my head. I don't even know where to start. I ain't gonna even lie. I just came over here and just freestyled it, like always. But so much going through my head. This team are the biggest failures I've ever seen in my life of any sports team. Did you see the end of that Warriors game? When LeBron James was fouled by Stephen Curry on the three, right then and there, I said, this is like, like and there's no point of even attempting this because we know I would have bet in the house we know 100% that he is not going to make all three of these free throws. It's not often I agree with Skip Bayless, but Skip Bayless in this case is right. LeBron James runs from the three free throw line. He runs from the free throw line. It, it, it was just the most cringiest thing. As soon as he got fouled, I said, should I turn this off? Because I know he's not about to make it. Nah, I'm just going to sit through it and watch it. And sure enough, he missed the first one, made the second one. Missed the third one on purpose, or did he? And got the ball back. I don't think he got the shot off in time, but he missed anyway. But, yeah, Clay went off in that fourth quarter. Clay got his legs back. Um, but as far as, like, who I think is going to come out the West, I'm going to wait until after the All-Star break to give y'all those predictions. I just want to let you know that it ain't going to be the Lakers. Um, I made peace with the Lakers' sorriness um, a long time ago. And to, me, and to be honest, it all started when they went on that three-game win streak. Uh, when they were 16 and 13, they beat Oklahoma City, Orlando, and Dallas without Luka when Dallas was still struggling. And people were rejoicing as if the Lakers had found something. I'm like, yo, they've been doing this to us all season long. And it was right then when I knew this ain't going to end well. A win streak opened my eyes. Because it was the team they were the teams they were bragging about beating, they were pumping their chest out against. 
It was embarrassing. Or like, do you have you guys watched the Orlando Magic play ball? That is a G League team. Have you guys seen the Oklahoma? Well, I've gotten to see the Oklahoma City up close and personal. Came back from 26 down to beat the Lakers. Came back from 19 down to beat the Lakers. I, I mean, hey, I'm here to admit I was wrong. I was 100% wrong about this team. I thought for sure. And LeBron, boy, is he going to be eating crow after this season. He said it when the trade went down. Y'all, what he say? What he say in that tweet? Y'all talking about my squad age. We're going to make you. So it was something like that. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all remember, keep that same energy. You know, he said something along those lines. And again, I was right there with him. Like, y'all talking now, but wait until this team get going. I knew that they would, I said they would get out to a bit of a slow start. But man, they are showing who they really are. I mean, we, they can't run with Golden State. Golden State, when you look at how everything is going down, Golden State exposed their age from the first game. In the first game, the Lakers were up like, uh, what, 10 points? And the Warriors like, all right, they're old, they're tired now. It's time for us to do it, young fellas. And they did it. Show sure enough, they did it. Um, it. It was it was the same. And it's the same thing. It reminds me of um, 2013 when they acquired Dwight Howard. I remember they played in preseason. And uh, I remember my journalism professor was the Lakers were terrible in preseason. They were winless. They finished that preseason winless. My journalism professor asked me, he was like, uh, your Lakers are struggling, like, what's up? And I was like, man, it's just preseason. Who cares? And he told me right then and there, I mean, he's a Warrior fan, too. He's from the Bay Area. Uh, he likes all the Golden State, uh, not the Golden, well, California is a Golden State, but he likes the um, Bay team, San Francisco Giants, uh, Warriors, 49ers. And he was like, uh, he schooled me on it. He said that preseason in basketball is a lot different from preseason in football. Preseason in basketball means a lot more and it reveals a lot more than if you're watching uh, football's preseason and full circle here today he was absolutely right because the team went you know they just got rust they got mellow and they got a whole new team the only same players are as tht right, recording yeah. stopped for some strange reason maybe they are tapping in my um system because i don't want to talk about the lakers but anyway they went well into preseason this year, and I'm like, I remember this episode. I remember this episode, and show sure enough, preseason once again revealed to me and some others before and every before it all happened. You got people hitting me up, you know, hitting me up in the beginning of the struggles when I was talking about it, saying, "Man, be easy on our Lakers, man. They're gonna figure it out. They're gonna get it together." And I'm looking now, like at the time, like, okay. None of those people are hitting me up with that same message. None of those people are hitting me with that same chill out on the Lakers type stuff because and it, it was the, really um, frustrating and just angering to see, you know, all the Laker fans, and I'm going to exclude myself in this one because I thought this would work. All the Laker fans talking about, oh, they need to make a trade, this and that, when it was y'all same Laker fans who were talking about this is all we need, no excuses, this is the team, this is the team that's going to get us over, keep that, you know, it, it was just, and now they're talking about what the Lakers needed to do in the trade, and you got reports coming out that saying AD and LeBron were not happy with Palinka's stance on not getting anything during free agency. It's like, no, y'all put this team together. LeBron James and them could have had DeMar DeRozan. They could have had players who could have really contributed. But they wanted the glitz and glam, the prettiness, the flashiness. We got Russell Westbrook. We got Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony. No way this can fail. Get rid of everybody. Schroeder, Caruso, everybody. And now look how terrible they are. The team that was number one in defense last year and I think the year before that now look at them they can't stop a nosebleed they can't stop anyone they can't stay in front of anyone it's just the most it's like what? how but hey what else do we say man I don't even know what else to say about this um it's a disaster and for everybody anybody who will say oh if they make to the playoffs and blah 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 I don't want you jumping back on the bandwagon I won't I keep the same energy that's me 
But uh, anyway, man, I'm about to get up out of here again. Be sure to hit me up for one of these T-shirts. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. We got the Super Bowl tomorrow. I think I'm going to go live for that game. I'm going to be here at my spot kicking it um, in-house, in-home. Uh, I, As far as the Super Bowl go, I got the Rams winning the Super Bowl. I like the Cincinnati Bengals. I hope they win because I don't like the Rams. I feel like the NFL really wanted them in. I don't like the way that game ended with Tampa Bay. It's just I don't feel like they really won that game. I feel like they had some – help from the officials so i hope the Bengals win but i think this is all set and taylor made for the rams to uh win the super bowl joe barrow the hot topic and that's just how the rams wanted him being the guy you hear them hyping up joe barrow before the super bowl rams players and everybody in the media but we know that's just so when the rams win it could be like oh yeah i'll let you talk about joe barrow and all this and look what we just did. Y'all almost forgot about who we already know what this is going to be like when the Rams win the game. Uh, yeah, I got the Rams winning the game. It's just like Super Bowl 50 when my Panthers ran. It was all about Cam Newton and the Panthers going to do this and that to Denver. And what do you know? Six years later, we got another cat in the Super Bowl, the Cincinnati Bengals. So I'm going to take the Rams to win this game. I pray it's close. Last year, we had a dud of the Super Bowl. What's my score? Since that his defense is not all bad, the line is terrible, the offensive line. I'm going to take the Rams to win this game. Give me 37 to 30. 37 30. Yeah, that's my score. I uh, appreciate y'all for hearing me out. Uh, yeah, Lakers are terrible. Peace.